Yeah. Well, here we are outside the motel. We uncovered the boat. Scared the crap out of everybody else. Jack done a good job. It's about five minutes to eight. We get in the water at 8.30. The race is at nine. This might be the last time this boat's seen above water. Here comes the captain. Captain's all ready to go. No? Go in there and call the home for the uh, motel phone. 718. He wants to say goodbye to his wife. Might be the last time he sees her. Our first mate, Chris, just got here last night about 12 o'clock. Come and ate his last meal with us. He remembered he had his phone in his pocket. He figured he better put his phone in his truck before he uh, got in the boat. <laughs> Smart man. And here comes Chris. Chris just put his phone and put his phone. Yeah, he's been practicing the stroking. And he just put uh, his phone in the car. And he, uh, you got anything last wishes you want to say, Chris, before we get on this excursion? No, I, I didn't come down here for second. You didn't come down here for second, huh? Going You're going after first place. That's a pretty. Have you seen the competition, Chris? No. I uh, saw a bunch of guys with uh, Long John Silver hats on. Yeah. Um, they, didn't they, look, they didn't look like much. They didn't scary. Well, you, so you think you can take them, huh? Yeah. That'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Um, again, there's the. this might be the last time we see this boat above water, so we want a good, good picture of it here. What's the name of the boat? Uh, we do, I don't know if we've got a name for it. We have to get with uh, Captain Jack and see if he's christened this thing yet. It might be the last excursion. Hope it's not the Titanic, but it might be, you know. Now there's a bike. That sounds like the motor we got in our boat. <laughs> 